Honestly, I had no idea what to do with the new gear set known as Cavalier. When it was first revealed in the PTS Phase 1, the stats had repair skills. The devs decided to change that to incoming repairs in Phase 2. Then quickly realized that incoming repairs is a secret sauce to creating the most insane healer survivor builds. So it was then switched back. It was kind of annoying that it was gone, but I understood, or so I thought. I've spent a lot of time trying to figure out how to make this work effectively. I just don't see how it's efficient enough in legendary missions. I honestly can't see anything changing in damage reduction from skills when I have the four piece equipped. What skills are they talking about us having up to 70% skill damage reduction? Are they referring to the grenaders, the mini tanks? Because the mini tanks still shred like nobody's business. So with several attempts and variations, I finally gave up on the four piece. For now so in the midst of me beginning to dismantle the build i began to see another build forming before my eyes not the four piece cavalier but something else still utilizing a few pieces of the gear set a build that i've been itching to bring back with a ninja bike and utilizing a skill that i'd never used before this is insane you can face tank almost anything i'm talking about legendary as well fam and i want to share it with you so here we go One thing I'm an advocate of in the Division 2 are DPS healer builds. I made one a while back called Combat Medic. Some of you may be familiar because this was before the arrival of Ninja Bike and a couple of you were asking me to make an updated version of it with the Ninja Bike. Well, the time is now and Cavalier helps a ton with its creation. Let's start with the primary weapon which is a capacitor. This is a 6 tier skill build and we all know what the capacitor is and what it offers which is 7.5% weapon damage for every skill tier you have not to mention the native crit and damage to armor baked into it. This gun is a monster if used correctly. And if you're gonna make a DPS healer build, the heal must be strong. It won't if it's not a skill build. That heal must be potent in order for this to work. So along with this, I have a three piece RNK. Now keep in mind that I'm using a ninja bike bag, right? So I'll always get that extra piece of gear added. So I pretty much have a three piece RNK. Incoming repairs is invaluable and one piece gives me 20% of it. By the way, you want to slot in incoming repair mods if you need more healing, but for more damage, add some crit mods. And the reason I have a three piece is for the repair skills I get. Repair skills increases the effectiveness of repair that anything does, like the autonomous repair that the shield gets after taking damage. Or in the case of this build, 
the chem launch repair effectiveness that my armor receives as a result of it. This, along with the Defender Drone, is how I'm able to face tank these enemies. Now the Defender Drone, if fully expertise, will deflect 70% of incoming damage. This skill quickly became meta to use even with DPS builds. But listen fam, I believe the majority of those individuals using it this way are missing out, respectfully. And this goes back to the whole King series of builds that I made where I flipped the famous DPS contractor Fox's build and turned it into a skill build so that I could be powerful on both fronts, skill and DPS. It worked like a charm, and I'm using the same perspective here, but this is even more insane. Listen up, I only have my expertise level at 11, so the damage reduction I get with a Defender Drone is 53%. It's still very strong. You saw what I was doing, right? So imagine people who have it fully maxed out. Now, let's get back to the gear. The chest piece is also RNK and I'm using a talent that is honestly slept on, Empathic Resolve. The description states that when healing an ally you gain a damage bonus. It says nothing about healing yourself but I've tested this and it works all the same when healing yourself. And because this build doesn't have as much crit as I would like, this talent along with Capacitor helps so much with the damage you need to take enemies out. We don't want to forget about the Bacaro's holster, such a necessity in this build. First of all, I have the two-piece because of the ninja bike, of course. Then, the weapon damage this natively comes with to improve my DPS even more. In the stat, I have rolled is repair skills. That's what you want to roll everywhere, by the way. And if you can roll crit damage for the second attribute, then do that as well. And of course, you won't be able to do that with the two pieces of Cavalier because gear sets always roll with one attribute, but that's cool. And for this, you have a choice. Do you want to roll crit here as well because the Cavalier already has repair skills baked into it? Or do you want to double down on repair skills? I guess that depends on you and if you want to be more of a support player or not. The Hasbro helps a lot too. 30% of it is good to have just in general. Now let me show you my stats. Ideally, I'd love to have this min-maxed in a way that everything has the correct attributes, but you know how RNG is. Still, this build slaps even with it like that. I'm sure so many of you have what you need to make this how it's supposed to be. Oh, and I almost forgot one thing. The technician specialization is what you want. It'll help you get to six skill tiers easy and make sure to change on the skill tree to 10% extra healing instead of damage and you're good to go. Please share whatever DPS healer builds you've made with the ninja bike. And by all means, if you made the four piece cavalier work in your favor, then tell me that as well in the comments. I think I pretty much covered it all here. I appreciate you stopping by to hear me out. Let me know what you think of it. As always, if you're interested in builds from DPS all the way to skill, then don't hesitate to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more. I'll catch you in the next one. Be right out.